joined by Hemet coach Joe Schnanke between matches at the Dan Quam Memorial Tournament. Um, the Bulldogs prevailed 2-0 in their first match of the morning over Linfield Christian. Um, Joe, a couple weeks into the season, you guys were at Queens Court. You've played Marietta Mesa. Um, and if I, I'm leaving anybody else out, I'm sorry, but that, that's what pops to the top of my head. What have you learned about your group so far? Uh, we learned a lot. I mean, the Marietta Mesa was uh, really decent. I mean, any team in the Southwest League is going to push any team that they play against. Uh, well, you know, one of the, the top uh, leagues in the entire country, right? But uh, um, we did end up playing Valley View this last Thursday, too. And we were able, between the two matches, to really discover our defenses because um, our offense is actually a pretty strong offense. We have a lot of uh, capabilities on the court, that, and we have a lot of strength. Um, but the defense was the one thing that we were trying to work on. And, and between those two, we were able to find out how to dig more balls, get in the right uh, places, and be able to read better. And at the end of that, we prevailed over the uh, Valley View as well. Um, the, look at the Mountain Pass rate League this year. You guys were able to split with Beaumont, correct? Last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. um, what happened in that match that you lo that you guys lost that maybe can be correct by the time you face them that first time, which is in about a week, if I'm not correct? Yes, it's a week from this Tuesday. And uh, what basically ended up happening on that one was just the, the overall, like what we've been working on this year, is that they were actually part of our plan to try to figure out what to do for the season. And that was primarily defense, because I knew I was going to have an offensive uh, team when we came in. So we've been working on uh, some uh, some Olympic-based type of defenses that we want to make sure that we can read properly when we're playing against that team because, you know, Beaumont was strong last year, and we're assuming that Beaumont's going to be strong this year in the Mountain Pass League as well. Yeah, they should be. And the Mount, other than the Mount, than Beaumont and the Mountain Pass, um, really, it, it's it, it, below you guys and Sanjak, it's n not that strong a league. You look at Tockwitz, and Citrus Hill has been on the way up. Yes. Well, um, I mean, Citrus but, has always been the one that we've been concerned about because they're right next to the King. Yeah. And eventually those players will migrate over to Citrus. Yeah. So. But in your scheduling, going to Queens Court, was that kind of a way to make up for some of the lack of difficulty in the league? Well, yeah, there's a there's a few different things. As you can see on our preseason that we play some tough teams, Valley Views into our division. Um, so we might beat them in CIF. Um, area Mesa is in Division Three, so they're a, a higher division than us. Um, we'll meet Chaparral, who's a D1 school next week. And so, um, and then there's a tournament that we play in San Diego uh, throughout the, or in the middle of the week that allows us to be able to see, I mean, we have people that are D1 all the way to, I think we're probably one of the lowest division in being a D5 school. Okay. Team. So they try, we try to try to balance it out because obviously, you know, there, there is a mixture. I mean, nothing bad to say about the other teams in our league, yeah. but, you know, Beaumont has club players that play on their team. We have club players. San Jack is starting to do the same thing, and then slowly uh, Citrus Hill, Tokwitz, and West Valley are starting to progress there, too. That talent's starting to filter we, its way. Yeah, I mean, we want to try to, in all honesty, I mean, everybody wants to win. Yeah. Everybody wants to go in there and have a good fight, a good, yeah. a good battle on the map. So. Um, you conti you fought, continue a long line of hem good running a good coaches that have run good solid programs here going back to Joel Robinson who guided the program to those consecutive CIF finals in the early 2000s yes. and you've been pretty close yourself since you've taken this program I have. Um, what's the next step fi finals weekend is obviously the next step for you guys what do you feel like you have to do to get to that point um it's going to be always about chemistry. I mean, you know, the night, the, the tough thing about high school versus like any, because I'm also a club coach for Forza, is that, you know, we bring in these teams and um, we get nine months in club. In high school, we get sometimes a little bit, there's a CIF dog period in the summer, so we can't see our team. And then we come back and we have a few weeks, like you said, mentioned the Queen. We only had a couple weeks before we got going. So we have to figure out that chemistry because each one of these kids goes to a different club. Or even if you're on another team, these kids have not played with each other for a solid year. Okay. So we're trying to bring that in and trying to get that chemistry. I have a good chemistry group now, um, some young talent. The, the, the difference on it last year, too, is that some of my starting players were sophomores. Now those sophomores are juniors. And as everybody knows, that, that maturity from one year to the upper class juniors and seniors, that's actually going to show starting this year. So okay. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Talk. You, this has been one of the area's better run tournaments, in my experience, coming here with Woodcrest Christian and now as a reporter on the other side of it. <laughs> um, the, the, the level of team you got here, I was pleasantly surprised to see Chaparral on the uh, schedule. 
Um, yes and no. I mean, like I mentioned, you know, um, being with Forza, my uh, my colleague Dana Burkholder is the head coach. Uh, obviously, she's not here for doing some other club stuff, but you know, she likes to be able to play against teams that of coaches that she knows. Yeah, you know, like she knows me. She just played Rancho Cucamonga the other uh, last week, which is another director that she knows. So a lot of times it's just camaraderie. Yeah, and so it's nice because at the end of the day, if you like the coach, that you can battle hard. But yeah. at the end of the day, you can still shake hands. Exactly, you know? and that's what it's all about. Exactly. Um, Joe, good luck the rest of the day. I'll let you get back to your tournament hosting responsibilities, and I'll grab a couple of kids after probably one of your points.